Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yaneri. We just came out of the Federico and look, can't believe we're literally right up there a few minutes ago. And now I'm gonna go to my cousin's house. And down here is hot and humid. Yes, I'm complaining about the heat again. And now I'm at my cousin's house. This is my cousin. Say hi. hi. And now we're going to the beach, I think, probably. Something like that. And recorded some TikToks and took some pictures. So I'll insert them somewhere around here. Anyway. Paseo Doña Blanca. En el Paseo de Doña Blanca. Oh, look, it's all pink. And of course, I had to come in white, so you know, pop out. <laughs> now we're going to the streets de las Sombrillas. Next time you find yourself in Puerto Plata, don't miss the chance to stroll down the vibrant Paseo de Doña Blanca, famously known as the Pink Street. It's not just a pretty sight, it's a tribute to Bianca Franceschini, a trailblazer in Puerto Plata's 18th century tourism scene. Capture the charm and vibrant hues with your camera. This spot is a heaven for pink lovers. Plus, it's the perfect backdrop for Instagram-worthy pictures. Make sure to check it out. Now we're inside La Fortaleza and we got this audio thing so it tells us a bit about the history and it costs 100 pesos per person. 165. Esto se construyó. Wow. So this was um, construction, construction, constructed in... ¿Qué año? 1565. Wow. 1596. <laughs> I can't do the math right now. Oh my god. The math. Wow. As you can tell, I'm tired. And you can see the canyons here. It goes right to the water. El periodo prehistórico. Ah, no, prehispánico. Quizá comienza a hablar de la cueva. Mira, hacha japonesa. Welcome to La Fortaleza San Felipe in Puerto Plata. This 16th century Spanish fort, now in Trinity Museum, is packed with history from original canyons to ancient weapons and secret chambers. But it's not just about the past. The fort offers breathtaking views over the Puerto Plata coastline. It's the perfect place to watch the sunset, making your visit an unforgettable blend of history, adventure, and natural beauty. Right now, we're in front of the Malecón and I'm going to show you guys the ocean. It looks really pretty. And we got some pescado frito. I got some red rock and frambuesa, and this tastes so good. And now we're going home. It's about an hour ride. Restaurants that are on the side of the highway. And we went to this one called jo Joan. And now we're back home, finally. And we are going to eat some fish that we bought in Puerto Plata. And yeah, it looks so good. It's fried fish and I'm excited to eat some dinner tonight. We're gonna eat the fried fish with some this, guess what's the sweet sea potato. Well, fried sea potatoes. <laughs> they were good when they were first cooked. And I want some fish. 
as Simikar. <laughs> and the fish was 800 pesos, what I got today. Some of these were gifts that I want to get for a long time. It's from Larimar, and it's a stone that's only found in the Dominican Republic. And look how pretty it is. The best part, it was free. And that's also a good thing because I was struggling to find a ring that fit my hand. But this, which is an inklet, like look how pretty the stones are. And this was 800 pesos, which is, honestly, I have no idea how much is in dollars, but it's probably way cheaper. Because in the US, they were selling this ring for $50. And here I got it for free, but oh, it's a bracelet, which is perfect because it combines with my anklet. And it's these two little stones, this necklace. Look how pretty it is. It's una estrellita with la rimar in the middle. The next day. A few moments later. the last day in the Dominican Republic and my cousin's gonna pick us up and take us to El Monumento then I go out to dinner and do some last minute shopping at either El Encanto, La Sirena, El Bravo. Yeah one of those three supermarkets to do some last minute shopping and here's a sneak peek of my makeup and here's my outfit and yeah right now I want to try some cake that my cousin brought and it's from the store Alberto. Yeah let's see if it's good. Mmm, mmm, the frosting tastes amazing and the piña también está buena. Okay, Alberto, me gusta, me gusta. We just finished eating dinner. It was really good, especially the gachapas were ooh, delicious. And now we're going to the supermarket. <laughs> and now we're at a supermarket and it's really big, like humongous. It kind of reminds me of like Walmart. The next day. Heading to the airport. And it's a nice sunny day, which is great. And now I'm at the airport, and look, there's this Christmas tree right next to it. And I'm gonna start boarding soon. Well, not boarding, past immigration soon. And oh my god, look, I look so red. Oh my god, I put too much blush. But anyway, I'm ready to be back in the US, but at the same time, I'm not. Just past security and now I'm gonna wait until 12.32 I think it is to start boarding. Now I might walk around and see what they have to eat, even though I'm not hungry, but it's just most likely that's how I do the game. <laughs> and now we're on the airplane and it's currently let's see. 12.52. You 
and we're finally at the airport and now we're just waiting for our bags. We have found one of them so far, we're just waiting on my bag. And now I'm back home and I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm tired. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next series. Where should I go next? Hmm, Colombia, South Korea. Please comment below. Thank you.